Hey guys, welcome back. This is Stefano. Okay, as promised, I'm going to review this here in the comparison to this here. Okay, so in my last video, I did a video on the Outdoor Edge EDC, and I did mention that I had a, another knife that it was a hunting version of this knife that I wanted to share with you. So then this way you could see that some of the differences in that um why i would want to carry something like this in comparison to say my hunting knife because you know a lot of people might say well you know if you've got a hunting knife why 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 do you need this why do you need this knife you know i'm going to show you why okay so all right so this here is the outdoor edge razor pro combo okay um there's many different variations of this particular one you can get the uh, razor edge or you can get the razor edge uh, combo this comes with a saw and then you can get fixed blades versions of this called the blaze um, so you know th these th all different variations but this is the one I got okay so here we go we're gonna go inside as you can see inside well first of all you can see that this comes with a really really nice case all right it's a camo um, they do come in different colors. I don't know exactly which com uh, colors that they come in, but you can go check out their site over at uh, OutdoorEdge.com and you can check these out on the hunting knives. Alrighty, so um, what I have here is I have the Razor Pro knife over here, and then behind it comes with a saw, which I'm going to take out in a second and show to you, show it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay and then behind here i got extra blades in my other video i mentioned that it had six extra blades i was wrong it was five extra blades okay so as you can see they are extra blades it's five of them they come in that nice packaging so where you really can't get cut unless you really drive it through or anything like that but it's sealed it looks like it's vacuum sealed actually i think this is a pretty cool idea you know um some some of these other razor type knives they have dispensers and stuff I was looking at them. Um, I, I think that you know they've come a long way with these here uh, razor blade knives or scalpels, whatever you really want to call them. Okay, so first of all, in my EBC, I'm not going to need one of these here saws. Okay, so I do have this saw, right? It's called the Flip and Zip. Okay, it's by the Outdoor Edge, of course. All right, it's about I would say about four or five inches long. I'm not 100% sure. I can look that up. Um, yeah, it's got a bump edge on it. So then this way, if you wanted to use it for game, you could use it for game. Um, uh, I've used this out in the field already on trees, you know, little branches that were in front of my face that I needed to get away from me. Um, it has a locking mechanism. It's, you know, it's got a little bit of flex to it, but it's really, really super strong. Really digging it. I love it. You know, it's got your locking blade, so it can go, you know, can unlock on you. So, there you go. That's your saw portion of this. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in now. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring the star to show. It's going to be my Outdoor Edge Razor Pro. Okay. So now, this one, in comparison to the EDC, right as you can see with the edc edc is a little bit thinner in its dimension this is actually a lot lighter than this is although i do like the weight of this one in your hand um this is a little bit more rounded and a little bit more smooth and i actually do like the smoothness of this knife um this they do have a, a, a version of this one for an edc but I didn't want to get the same exact knife. So that's the one of the things that uh, I, I do like this knife, but I wanted to get this knife. So then this way I'd have two different knives, not the same exact thing. Um, okay, so then the EDC comes with a clip over here that you can put inside of your pocket. So then this goes in your pocket and then you have easy access to it at any given time. Okay, both of them have the razor sharp blade. As you could say okay and both have removable blades so these are the some of the main differences why i would want this over this because this comes in this big package and i would be having this on my side 
every day. So that's not really something I want to carry around on me. It's kind of bulky and everything like that. Um, for hunting, it's cool because, you know, I have all kinds of gear on me. But for everyday carry, I want compact, you know, uh, out of sight, out of mind, unless I need it for any kind of a reason. Um, okay, so now this this knife here, right, of course it has the locking blade. That's locks tight, and this is the release mechanism on here with the push button. So you can see that, you you know, locks in place. Okay, um, of course you could snap it. Um, this one, the button's a little bit more poofed out uh, on it, as you can see. So the release button is right here, right there. So now when you push the, on the release button, the, the blade becomes free, and you can just pull it right out. Now remember, be careful. This is a razor. If you have one of these or, you, um, or you're just going to buy one of these, this is a razor. So this is very sharp right outside the box. Just a fair warning. Okay, so being sharp, you would want a, a sharp point if you are going to use this for hunting for processing your game. So that's you know you want a really sharp knife to, to do to do this. It makes your job a lot easier out in the field. Okay, speaking of making your job easier out in the field, the Outdoor Edge added this flip side onto it with a skinning tool. Okay, so this skinning tool is once again is super duper sharp. Okay, and you can use this. It has its buttoned end over here, so this way you can't. Uh, it'll prevent you from uh, having misfortunate mistakes when you are processing your deer. Okay, and then over here, this this lock here is one of these spring-loaded locks. Okay, so it does lock in place, so you can't really get it open. But if you look over here. It does have a swing lock, you see that? So now you go like this and it pops into place. So that's how it releases, but it's pretty strong on there and everything. Awesome tool. You know, I really like this, it's, you know, really nice. So, so that would be some of the main differences why I would have gone out and got myself another knife. Now, would I get another knife? Of course I will, because I really like knives. <laughs> but anyway, so uh, I hope this makes your decisions to go out and get a uh, an EDC easier. And uh, I hope if, if you, you are looking for a hunting knife or a hunting combo that's reasonably priced, um, you can go ahead and you can uh, check this one out. I hope this one made your decision for you. You know, this has been really good to me. So, I mean, I, you know, I went out and I bought another one. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you for stopping by my channel. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If, um, if you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that little bell. So then this way you can get updates and everything of when I put up a video and stuff. Um, yeah, uh, like this video, share this video with your friends. I hope, like I said, that you got anything out of it and everything like that. Leave comments below. I always answer my comments, okay? So make sure you go ahead and you leave comments down there. All right. Well, thank you for stopping by. Have a great day. Okay, back again. Check this out. So I, I wanted to uh, give you an idea of just how sharp this knife is, okay? So here, this over here is a 50-pound braided um, fish, fishing line, okay? I use this on my surf cast rods, okay? And if you use braided, right, chances are you have, you know, either scissors or something like that to cut this because this is pretty heavy duty and usually a knife just doesn't cut it. I know my my uh, my regular knives, they just, they, they just don't cut it, okay? So now with a pair of scissors, right? Now if I go like this, you can see what just happened here. Okay, this is no joke. Okay, this stuff over here. So basically with a pair of scissors, I would have to come over here and you saw that three times, I took the cut that with a pair of scissors, right? So now I'm gonna do the same thing with my Outdoor Edge uh, EDC Onyx, right? So I'm gonna put that hoop there. Okay, 
just to give you an idea you know uh and i know like um if you had a fishing hook or something like that and you wanted to like uh do this here you could see and now so if you've used this before braided you'd understand you know even even a 12 pound braid is hard to cut um this is made for you know to not break that's what it's for um so you know you can you can really see how sharp this is you know so i hope this gives you a good idea of how sharp the 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 razor edge and uh and the and the edc is I'm, actually i'll do one with the razor edge so you can see because this one actually seems like it's sharper for crazy reason so yeah Look at that. You see it? Like almost cut perfect. It's like wow. You know, do it again. Yeah. Then we'll do the other half there. So I mean simple. So even for fishing this would be a great knife. You know. But I wouldn't fillet knives. I wouldn't. I wouldn't exactly fillet a fish with this. Actually, they, there is knives out there that are that are razors like this that do do. I I'm, I haven't looked. At, I haven't been to the site in a while. I do have to go and uh, and review and see if they do have something like that because I, I if, if they do have something like that, guess what? Guess who's getting? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you.